Hey everyone, if you don't already know, we live in Texas here in the San Antonio area and supposedly Texas has a lower cost of living than most of the U.S., right? Well, that's what many people have said. So you hear of many people moving to Texas because the cost of living is cheaper here? Today we're going to show you our monthly expenses and let you decide whether that's true or not. So according to rent.com, the average rent here in Texas is about $1,300 compared to about $900 last year. So that's almost a $400 increase from last year. So last year we used to live in the Houston area and our mortgage was about $1,500. So currently we live right outside the San Antonio area and uh, it's in a mobile home so it's a lot smaller and our lot rent is about $400 a month. We own the mobile home but we still have to pay the lot rent. Now, it's significantly cheaper than the U.S. and Texas average, I'm sure. Uh, it's probably one of the cheapest rents I've ever come across. Um, but it is a mobile home park. It's home. It's comfortable. We may do with it. So, And not to mention that it's very small. It's about 500 square feet and it's a two-bedroom. The one thing I do wish it had was a dishwasher. I'm just tired of washing dishes by hand. Other than that, it's amazing. So our monthly rent is about $400. If you compare that to the national average, a one bedroom a rent is about $1,700 and two bedroom is $2,100. That's expensive. So let's talk about utilities. We're gonna go over some basic utilities that I think most everyone pays for. And so first we're gonna start off with electricity. Uh, here in Texas, you have to have air conditioning. That's just like a must. In the summer, it's consistently over 95, 100 degrees many days. And on average, our electricity bill, which I think is pretty high, is $100, especially for a 500 square feet mobile home. Uh, in our previous home, which was 1,500 square feet, uh, our average electricity bill was about $100, um, or less actually. And so for this mobile home to be averaging $100 in electricity, I think that's kind of high. But um, the windows are yeah. like paper thin <laughs> and the walls. Yeah, yeah the, the windows and the walls are, everything is just single pane. <laughs> Even the walls, it's like uh, cardboard. But yeah. um, the Texas average is about $145. So we're still below the Texas average. Uh, we have the AC running basically all the time in the mm -hmm. summer. And in the winter, January, when it's cold, we do have the heater on. Um, there's no gas line that runs through it, so it's all electric. Now again, the $100 that we're saying is the average. Now just as a reference, last month in August, our electricity bill was $185. So the $100 is just the average. So moving on to internet, the Texas average is $30. We pay $50, but we have fiber optics, and that is really fast internet. We use this internet for our everyday work. Since we upload videos, we do YouTube full time, so this is a must have for us. So yeah, we pay $50 a month to have fiber optics. So just in case you guys don't know what fiber optics is, it's very fast. The upload speeds and the download speeds is the same. And as YouTubers and content creators, we have to upload very large files. So. That's why we have fiber optics. And uh, even at our old house, we had Comcast, which uses cable internet. And we paid about $55, $60 as well. But we've never seen internet this fast. Before. Yeah, it's, it's blazing it's fast. really fast. <laughs> like one terabyte, one terabyte? No, not one terabyte. One gigabyte download speeds and upload speeds. We upload videos like in less than three minutes. Less than. 30 seconds to a minute whereas before it was I don't know hours <laughs> oh yeah it would take like two three hours just to upload three to five gigabytes but not anymore so the next one is groceries it's not a utility but I think it's part of everyone's budget because we have to eat right and this is very subjective to each family how many persons are in your family yeah. we are a family of four and we spend thirteen hundred dollars on groceries a month on average now once again, this is just the groceries and the food that we buy. This is not eating out or fast food. Because some months we may spend a little bit less, maybe like a thousand dollars. And there's been months where we spend more. Way more. And, uh, yes. And this is us not buying a lot of junk food. We're trying to eat a little bit more healthy. And also like you mentioned, this is not eating out. 
we actually don't really eat out a lot. Our kids will have fast food every once in a while, but this does not include us eating out. And did you guys hear any ambient noises like cicadas and stuff or car noises? We're out here in the park and, and we're uh, getting bit by <laughs> there's a lot of bug noises stuff. and cicadas all around us. So moving on to home gas, the Texas average is about $70. Where we currently live, there's no gas line, so we don't pay anything for this. So everything in our house is pretty much electric, our stove, our water heater, and our furnace for the heat. It's all electric, so we don't pay for any gas. Um, at our previous home, we did pay for gas, and we probably average about $50 for gas with our previous house. But currently, we don't pay for any gas. So next up is our water bill. Uh, we actually don't pay for water. Our water is included as part of our rent. On average, uh, in Texas, the water bill is about $45. In our previous home, we paid about $90 in Sugarland for water. And currently, we don't pay anything for water because it's included as part of our rent. Although we do go over a little bit uh, because they give us, I think, 2,000 gallons or 5,000 gallons and after that we pay a little bit if we go over. Like five dollars a month, yeah, not like a lot. Five or ten dollars if we go over. Now keep in mind that we don't have a garden or a yard so we don't water our grass, we don't really water any plants so we don't go over our water bill that much or our water limit that much. So moving on to sewer and trash, the average for Texas is $62 where we currently live that is provided so we pay nothing all right moving on to the next one which is car insurance which we all have to have uh, we currently pay about 88 dollars for full coverage now we only have one car and so we pay 88 dollars now the texas average is about 156 dollars per family so we're paying a lot less since we only have one car Again, every family is different. Currently it's $88, but our contract is about to be up. So I'm looking for a different car insurance provider because they said it was going to go up to like $120. So I'm shopping around right now and seeing if there's any cheaper rate that we can stay around the $80, $85 mark. We also included gasoline for a car in this list. According to CNBC, the national average per month is $416. We pay about $120 per month. Now that's considering that we're driving a Toyota Prius and we only have one car. Now obviously if you have a truck or an SUV or multiple cars, you're going to pay paying a lot more than that. Now moving on to cell phone bill, which I think everyone uses now. Uh, our average cell phone bill is $120 a month. Actually it's always $120 a month. And according to CNBC, the average American spends about $127 on their cell phone bill. We currently spend $120. We have three lines. So that's pretty close to the national average. Uh, we do use our phone for business and checking stuff on YouTube and comments and uploading videos as well. So our total so far is $2,183. So the $2,183 that we pay total for everything, our utilities, groceries and stuff, doesn't include stuff like entertainment, um, gym membership, health insurance. It doesn't include life insurance or pets. We have some pets. It also doesn't include any entertainment like streaming services or cable. Subscriptions. And other miscellaneous things. Let us know how it compares to where you live, what your bills are. Uh, and how much you spend, especially on the groceries part. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.